Hello, educators who drone. Uh, my name is Heather Monthy, and in this video, I'm going to share with you a couple of different books that you can use to find ideas for creating lesson plans for your drones in STEM education class, whether you're teaching it in a class after school, you know, that kind of thing. These are some really good places for you to get some ideas for some lesson plans. Now, you can go on Amazon and you can find all sorts of different books of with drone uh, projects, things that you can do with kids, whether you are um, you know, building them or flying them, whatever. What I like to do is I like to break out the different types of lessons that you can do within a drones and STEM education program. You can do one of four different things. You can build drones, you can code the drones, you can fly the drones, and then you can get your country's certification for flying drones. Um, not every country has it. Most countries do have some sort of test that you need to take to um, operate as a, a commercial or recreational uh, remote pilot. So um, the first book here is this one. It's called Make DIY Drone and Quadcopter Projects. This one is, uh, it's not super thick, but it's got a ton of different um ton of different ideas. There's a lot of different pictures in here, all sorts of different things that you can do for building. So this is really great if you are really interested in teaching students about how to build drones, the engineering process, that kind of thing. Great book. I'll make sure to put the links to these in the description as well. The next one, these two kind of go together. These couple right here kind of go together. Is So if you are in the United States and you want to help your students pass the Part 107 exam, there's a lot of different resources out there. If you go to educatorswhodrone.com, I do have a free Part 107 exam study guide that you can download. And basically what that guide is, is it points you to all the different things that the FAA has put out there for you to help you learn um, everything that's needed for the Part 107 exam. But there's this, ASA publishes this. Um, it is the uh, study guide for the remote pilot small online aircraft systems. Um, again, not super thick, but it gives you all of the different things that you need to know for the part 107 exam. So it covers everything from airspace, aviation weather, um, the effects of weather on uh, SUS performance, uh, aircraft loading, uh, emergency procedures, crew resource management, radio communication procedures, determining performance, physiological factors, aeronautical decision-making and judgment, um, and then airport operations, and then uh, uh, maintenance and pre-flight inspection procedures. So this is a really good um, study guide. I don't think it's it's comprehensive enough to like help you pass the exam just using this in and of itself, um, but this is a really great place that you can go. You can find different ideas for lessons for your students. Um, and then th another one to go with that is this ASA remote test, uh, remote test prep, uh, exam. This is from 2020. I don't have an updated one, but ASA is a really good publisher for aviation materials. Glime is another one that's really good. G-L-E-I-M. That's another one that's really good. Um, but this is all practice uh, tests. And so it's, it's practice tests with the answers and then um, explanations to the answers. So again, really great spot for you to find um, material for your, for your students. This one right here, um, this one is, I just got this off of Amazon, and it's it's a free publication put out by the FAA. You do not need to purchase this, okay? There is a free PDF that you can get from the FAA, but it's, it is the Airman Knowledge Testing Supplement for Sport Pilot, Recreational Pilot, Remote Pilot, and Private Pilot. So you can just Google that. It comes right up off of the FAA's website. Um, you do not need to purchase this. But if you want a printed copy of it, um, it is the remote, it's the testing supplement that you'll get during the part 107 exam. So you can use this then to create lessons for your students. Um, if you do purchase this off Amazon, I made the mistake and I purchased one and it was all black and white. Um, and when you get into airspace, so when you get into reading aeronautical charts, it's very important to have color. There's a very, there's um, you know, a, a lot of color coding that happens here. So you need to make sure to get the, the uh, colored copy of this. But again, you can get the free PDF right off the internet. But again, you can use this to create different lessons on you know, how to read aviation weather charts, how to read aeronautical charts, how to do uh, weight and balance, you know, understanding center of gravity, that kind of stuff. Um, then this one right here, this is a pretty meaty document. It's the Airplane Flying Handbook, um, and it's really for any kind of pilot. And it's put out by the FAA. It's pretty thick. 
Um, and again, you can purchase this on Amazon uh, very, you know, very easily. Um, I think this is another one that you can get the free PDF if you want it, but it is pretty thick. But so this is a book for all different kinds of pilots. So it doesn't, it's not just remote pilots. So um, you can look through here and kind of pick and choose what you think is really more appropriate for your students. So if you don't, if you want to teach about, you know, aerodynamics, there's lessons in here about aerodynamics. Like, like the, here's a chapter on tailwheel airplanes. You know, you're not going to probably teach that in, um, in, uh, a remote pilot course, but you know, there's different types of maneuvers. There's, you know, understanding airport operations. That's extremely important airspace. Um, but it really, really, really goes into a lot of different details. So you can use this book to come up with some ideas for lessons. And then the last book I have here, and there's more, I'll make another video. There's more, but I don't want to overwhelm. Um, but this last one right here is the pilot's handbook of aeronautical knowledge, the PHAK, P H A K pilot's handbook of aeronautical knowledge, again, published by the FAA. You can get this free online um, for a PDF. You can get the PDF free online. If you want a printed copy, you have to order it off Amazon. Um, but uh, this is like the, the 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 Bible of aviation, okay? So this has got everything under the sun on, in it. So it's not just, again, same thing as with the airplane flying handbook. It's not just for remote pilots. Um, it's for all different kinds of pilots. So you can go through here. You can go through the index. You can go through the table of contents and... Um, and come up with some lesson plans. So like if you want it, like again, they've got different types of leading edge devices here. You know, that's important if you're if you're teaching um, aerodynamics and you and you know you're teaching your students about um, uh, different types of uh, you know wing flight controls, that kind of stuff. And you know, there's all sorts of really, really, really great stuff in here. Let's see if I can find some other things that might be really important to drones. Um, so stability. So say you're teaching you know, a, a class on stability. Um, or a lesson on stability. You've got static stability, dynamic stability goes into very much, very much uh, in-depth detail of it. Le longitudinal stability. Again, it's it's you know it's going to go in a lot of detail for for airplane pilots, but you can use this to customize this for a remote pilot class. So these are all the different books that I wanted to go over today. I do have a couple more that I think are really great, but again, this will get you uh, started on the right track. Um, if you haven't already, go to educatorswhodrone.com and download the free. Part 107 study guide that is even if you're not teaching to the part 107 exam um, to help your students pass that exam that study guide has got a ton of different resources free some paid that you can download to use to make lesson plans for your students so enjoy and i'll talk to you guys later